Welcome to Uncle C's Bible Lessons, and I am your host, Uncle C. Our story today is entitled, The Beatitudes, and it's taken from Matthew chapter 5, and it goes from verse 1 to verse 12, and it is such a short portion of scripture that Uncle C has it all here for you today, so you can read along as Uncle C tells you the story. Now, Uncle C may not read everything, but Uncle C wants you to read it because I may just ask you a question about them. The action text is taken from Matthew 5, 8. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. It is so short. I'll, ask, I'll read it again. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. Now the story starts with a multitude of people going up into the mountain to see Jesus. They were interested because they wanted to be delivered from the Romans. God had said in his word a long time ago that they would receive a redeemer. And the Romans, they treated them so badly that they wanted someone to come and overthrow the Romans. So they were wondering, what would Jesus tell them to do? Would he tell them to fight back? Would he tell them to do bad things about them? But we shall see what he said in the Beatitudes. Now, and the Beatitudes is part of the Sermon on the Mount. It's just a small portion of the Sermon on the Mount. Let's see how it starts. God told them that he realized that at times they are not feeling well. They feel that they lack something spiritually. So it's a good thing when you feel that way because you then realize that you need to come to Christ. So whenever you feel that you need to come to Christ, he wants you to come to him. He also said, when you are mourning, you know, come to him and he will indeed comfort you. And that comes to spiritual things also. Sometimes we are so sorry for the things that we have done to God that we feel sad. He wants us to come to him, tell him about it, and he would comfort us. Now, a lot of individuals believe they should show off, they should be proud, they should beat their chest and say, I am number one. But Jesus wants us to be humble. So he told them that we need to be humble. Now I want you to think of something, something that you like very much, a drink that you, your favorite drink, your favorite food also. Christ wants you to even hunger and thirst even more for righteousness than that drink. Because if you hunger for righteousness, which is the, you, you are hungering to do what is right, he shall fill that desire within your heart. He wants us to show mercy to individuals. You know, there are individuals who need help. So guess what? Just as you would like someone to help you, he also wants us to help others. He also wants us to be pure in our hearts. Because guess what? We want to see Christ, right? So for us to see Christ, we have to be pure in our hearts. And he also wants us to be peacemakers. He doesn't want us to encourage rudeness or encourage fights as much as is possible. Please be a peacemaker. He also realized that sometimes people will do things against us just because we are following him. <coughs> Excuse me, just because we are following him. He says, oh Lord, he will give you the strength to get you through this and you will be rewarded. In addition to this, sometimes they may not do things to you, but they may say things about you. It would be things that are not true and things to just make you feel bad. He also says, 
you will be rewarded if you do what he wants you to do. He knows it is not easy at times, but he wants you to call on his name and he will take you through this. Now, if I was to say the story in rhyme, it will go like this. Jesus gave us a prescription for daily living, which is mainly based on forgiving. He knows at times it's difficult to do, but if we are faithful, he will see us through. So as we go from day to day, we should do things Jesus' way. And if we are tempted to fight or to be rude, let's simply remember each beatitude. All right, boys and girls, are you ready for your question? What is the answer? Question number one. The Beatitudes are part of A, the Romans battle plans, B, planning revenge, C, the army plans against the Romans, or D, the Sermon on the Mount. If you say D, the Sermon on the Mount, you are correct. Question number two, complete this verse. Blessed are the pure in heart, and I did read this verse for you, blessed are the pure in heart, A, for they shall obtain mercy, B, for they shall inherit the earth, C, for they shall see God, or D, for their heart shall remain well. And if you say C, for they shall see God, you are correct. Question number three. According to the Beatitudes, what should we hunger for? A, food, B, righteousness, C, preaching, or D, money. And if you say B, righteousness, of course you are correct. And finally, question number four. The Beatitudes teach us to A, do things God's way, B, to get revenge, C, to be mean, or D, nothing. And if you say A, do things God's way, of course you are correct again. Thank you, boys and girls. Now let's close our eyes and let's bow our heads for prayer. Dear Jesus, we thank you for the Beatitudes. We will do our best to obey them. We love you and thank you for all your blessings. Amen. Boys and girls, I thank you for watching Uncle C's Bible Lessons. Uncle C's email address is unclecbiblelessons at gmail.com. But if you write to Uncle C, please receive your parents' permission before you write. Beautiful boys and girls, well, I thank you so much for being with me today. And remember, as you go throughout this week, that Jesus loves you very much. Bye for now.